tell me about this new song that you uh, wrote and uh, performed called Mind Shaft. What does the name mean? So Mind Shaft, the song is it's an ambient acoustic song. And to answer the question, the whole idea of Mind Shaft is if you listen to the song, it's very grungy, metallic, and echoey. And now if you've been in a Mind Shaft, it's a dark, metallic, echoey place. So the song title is supposed to represent what would it be like inside a dark, abandoned Mind Shaft. Okay. And um, I was going to ask, there, were, there are no lyrics to the music. Well, was that intentional or are you planning to add lyrics to it later? As with any song and music, you can always add things later. Um, when I made this song, I was sick actually, so my voice was not where it should be strength-wise. Um, so I, the lyrics were going to detract from the overall sound. So I made the song to be studying music, and typically studying music is orchestral in nature, so there's often not lyrics. So I wanted to follow that non-lyric pattern with the music. So you want the listener to focus on the music. Correct. It's not about, uh, there's no lyrics, but you could always change that later if you want. Right. I want the li listener to f listen specifically to the cadence. It's a very deep, it's, and there's a lot of bass. So that's why I wanted the ear to focus on more so than lyrics. So you don't live in a mine shaft. I don't. You aren't near any mines. <laughs> you, I know you've been to a couple mine, you know, caves and mm -hmm, caverns. Mm -hmm. So why that topic? Um, that's a good question. Uh, when I was making the song, I always make the songs first, so I make the progression first, and then I often put lyrics to the progression. Well, in this case, I was playing around with sound, ambient sound effects, and I thought that just the echo was great. And immediately, I thought of Mines. I'm like, wow, Mineshaft. And it just kind of came to me. So it wasn't really like this long thought process. It just came. Now, you obviously, I know you play drums, mm -hmm. and you play guitar, you play a little piano, uh, a couple other little things. You love music, which mm -hmm. I think is phenomenal. Um, how many people were performing in this? Uh, how many people did it take to produce this song? Oh, uh, actually, it was just me. Um, there were three tracks. There's, so there's the main track, which you hear is uh, the percussive. So it's actually playing normal chords on a guitar with capo on the first fret, and then the percussion was actually me tapping the wood. Then there's a shaking sound, which is actually breath mints. And then the main percussion part was hitting a mouse pad. So it was me three separate times. All right. And what, what was this about? A mint or something? Yeah. So breath mints. So like I breath just. Breath mints? Yeah. Music? Okay. So I found that if you shake it, it makes a maraca sound. And if you put a little bit of echo on it, it sounds really ominous. Better than a real maraca. Did you use anything else in this song to produce sound? Um, there are some. Through Logic Pro, they. Logic offers some great uh, sound effects um, and sound enhancements. So some of the echoey, especially with a guitar, yeah. But other than that, there were three main things. Percussion on a mouse pad, maracas, and guitar. That's it. Uh, okay, the song is Mineshaft, and uh, um, it's not your first song. You have, uh, you like to write music. I you do. You like to perform music. Um, you even try to sing, which is good, and I, and I think people understand that the singing is there just to place the words. Correct. Because um, you don't boast yourself as being a tremendous I'm singer. not, yeah. You're not Jay-Z or... Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Or any of those other no. uh, singers. Um, but tell us a little bit about a couple of the other songs that you've uh, uh, written yourself and produced. Right, so to indirectly answer the question, I think the great thing about music is you don't have to be great at it to be able to put out good music. I can't read music, but that doesn't stop me from making music. So although I may not be able to sing great, people still like the idea behind the music. And some of my other songs, I'm going to talk about the ones that I have released because I'm working on another album. I just released the Resonance album in February, and I released Mind Shape. Uh, spur of the moment because of the coronavirus that kind of took over the world and I had to stop my music uh, in person. I can't be doing in person venues so I wanted to give my audience something that they could listen to in lieu of me being there. But I know one of my songs Smiles was particularly good given the time that we're in right now. It's about smiles returning the faces after a really bad event happens. Whatever that event can be, it might it's ambiguous. So it is up to the viewer what they want that event to be. Um, but Smiles is looking, we had this big catastrophe and we get to watch just everybody, life returning back to normal. And I think with the coronavirus, we're definitely gonna see that come back to life. The song you said is called Smiles? That's correct. All right, and then how many songs do you have total, would you say, that so I've far? That have been released publicly? Yeah. Um, maybe close to 20 now. Okay. 
and uh, you post them on your website? I do, and they're on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. They're on any major streaming platform. They're on my Instagram, and now we're also integrating TikTok into a different platform. Really? I mean, you're not making a lot of money yet, no, but no. you're doing okay. But is it about the money, or is it something else? It's definitely not about the money. I love making people feel happy, and music is a way to do that. You can put a smile on somebody's face. You can make them feel great. You can make them think about past memories. So I think being able to do that to people is what the music industry is about, just being able to change somebody's life or have that positive impact on them. That 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 is worth more than any amount of dollar signs in my opinion. I also do music because I love meeting people and it's been a great way to meet new people that I never would have and I've been able to work with some amazing people. So that's what the true uh, reasoning is, is just the connections that you can build. All right, an interview with Aaron Hanania, a uh, performer, uh, writer, a producer, um, guitar, drums, percussion, um, all kinds of interesting music. Thanks. Thank you. And I'll play a little bit of the song for you here. <laughs>